Hi everyone, I'm David Kidwell, conductor of the Holyoke Civic Symphony. Jody Hoy has played oboe with the orchestra since 2004. She's married to Joe Hoy, our tuba player, and they live in New Hampshire, so they travel almost an hour to get to rehearsals and concerts. But what do we really know about Jody? I've got a few questions that were submitted, so this is exciting. Uh, questions for the oboist, and uh, I haven't actually looked at these yet, so. Let's go through them, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, okay, first question. Why or how did you choose the oboe? That's a good question. It's about 100 degrees today. Literally, it's 100 degrees today. It's hot. Why or how did you choose the oboe? Uh, I wanted to play an instrument that nobody else played. So when I said that to my music teacher in elementary school, who happened to be my mom, she said, how about the oboe? And I was like, yeah, I've never heard of the oboe. That sounds perfect. So that's how I decided. A very informed decision on my part. Um, oh, also, my very first teacher in fifth grade, her name was Mary Johnson, she gave me a little pro tip that oboists make good kissers. So I figured, hey, what the heck, I'll stick with it. Next question. Have you ever tuned the orchestra to the wrong note? Yes, I have. Uh, surprise! Uh, so the oboe one chair, which is where I play most of the time, is uh, responsible for tuning the orchestra. Um, so I keep this little tuner on my music stand, and before one of our concerts, I passed it down to the flute players. Sorry, Jennifer. Sorry, Jane. Um, and the flute players used, uh, appreciated that they wanted to borrow my uh, tuner, but they, somebody knocked one of those little calibration buttons when it was getting passed down the line. So when it got back to me, I didn't think to check that, and I tuned the orchestra uh, instead of 440. I tuned the orchestra to 444 for uh, one of our concerts, I think about five years ago. Uh, did anybody notice? Uh, next question. How long have you been playing oboe? I've been playing oboe for uh, about 30 years, and I've been with Holyoke, I think, for about 15 of those years. Have you ever, have you ever fallen in love with someone in the orchestra? Yeah. Do you make your own reeds? That's a good question. Look at these little suckers. I do not make my own reeds. I have two full-time jobs already. I'm a mom and I work. And getting the precision on this, uh, it's hard to see over this phone, all of the detail that goes into carving that out and thinning. Um, I don't have time for that. So I buy my reeds. Um, I'm happy with them. Someday I, would, I know how to make them, but I just don't have the time. Next question. Is there a piece of music you want to perform but have not yet? Yes, uh, we were supposed to perform at our next concert, uh, or our last concert that got canceled, um, a rendition of Shenandoah that David Kidwell has arranged, and uh, I was looking forward to playing that. I'll, I'll play a little snippet of it, because it's one of my favorite pieces, and David wrote uh, just a beautiful arrangement of it and it sounds so haunting on the oboe. Beautiful. Uh, okay, let's see, and I think that's it. If you have any other questions, you can submit them to director at holyokescivicsymphony.org, and those will get to David. Okay, thank you.